slide by Eddie Kane Jr.'s channel. Let me see. Eddie Kane Jr. Eddie Kane Jr. Eddie Kane Jr. Why that sounds familiar? Get over here. Um, Eddie Kane Jr., I'm letting you know right motherfucking ass. When I record my last, I go put it on no YouTube channel. No, I'm not playing. My people, top of the morning. It's your dude, Jay Prince, senior. Um, got some disturbing news and just a public service announcement for my son. No, nah, not Junior. I'm talking about my real son. Drake, my dude, young Drake. Son, I'm very worried about you, son. Um, your creative juices have not been flowing. No ditty. Um, now I don't know if you need to pay more Ghost Riders or something because you haven't been making no hits, son. Ever since your capitulation, look that word up. Ever since your capitulation to Kendrick Lamar after they not like us, you haven't made a hit, son. You've been putting out songs with various artists, all of them being flops. I'm worried, son. This ain't just for you. This also impacts me. You know what I'm talking about? This impacts my pockets. I am your extortion. I mean, I am your manager, young Drake. When it affects you, it affects me. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I'm talking about more than just financially. I empathize with you, Drizzy. And why did they have to bring out Kamala Harris? Now I know you're a Canadian citizen. You probably didn't watch the Democratic Nat the Democratic National Convention. But when they brought out Kamala Harris, you know what song they brought her out to, Drizzy. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. Drake. That song has crossed over to just political arenas. I'm telling you, Drake, I know you love to go to sporting venues. You're gonna hear that song all at every football stadium. You're gonna hear that song even at the Toronto Raptors game. Even though you are basically the mascot for the Toronto Raptors, they're going to play that song at all those games, my son. But on a serious note, son, I know, hey, I'll be the first to say, I like a nice piece of wag every now and again, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. But, always the but. Son, the freak offs have to stop. I'm hearing that you're bringing 400, you're flying in 400 women for the freak offs, you know what I'm talking about? Don't you remember Tupac and Haitian Jack? All it take is one. One woman to bring some allegations and your whole house of cars will be falling down. Son, you don't need all that, you know what I'm talking about? And all your PDF friends up there in Toronto, that's not gonna be a good mix, my son. I need you to tighten up. I know you're trying to sow your royal oats but that ain't the way, son. Get you one good, 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 clean girl. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe we gonna have to do a, a coming to America starring Drizzy. We got to find you somebody, son. Cause these freak offs got to stop because you're just setting yourself up for failure, son. It's gonna be a downfall. And what's as I hear about you snaking Lil Yachty? He was one of your only buddies, amigos that you had left. You snaked him for a song taking the song, you about to do a video for the song and kicked him off his own song. Where they do that at? Wheezy just played you, so you know how it felt. He doing songs with Rick Ross and Big Sean. I know you know how it felt. So why would you do that to Lil Yachty? You got no friends left. All you got left is me, young son. You still got Jay Prince. And you're gonna have me for life, you understand me? Cause I'm in your pockets. <laughs> I'm in your life. But I care, son, it ain't just about the money. 
a son. Get everything together. The freak off's gotta stop, son. You see they closing in on Diddy right now. But hey, you do what you do, you a grown man. But if it affect my money, I'm gonna, mm, you already know. Ain't no secret, dude. <laughs> I don't usually be kissing like that when I first meet someone, but you special. Uh, cigarette? Ashtray. Yeah, ashtray. <laughs> Come on, kids. Hey, stupid. You realize you just kissed every nigga at the party? <laughs> 